Does everyone deserve medical care? <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> the, I ask this because the service I did was at the um, Arkansas Senior Expo for baby boomers, 55 and up. Um, I am Jordan Taylor, I am a UALR student, and I am in the Intro to Communications class. In this speech, I will discuss my service site, how what I learned in this class connects to my service, and how this will help me in future interactions. In this speech, I will be discussing certain medical aspects of, of the field. Um, I completed my service at UAMS. The mission of my organization, according to U the UAMS website, was about a page long, um, <coughs> but to keep it short, it was to teach and search, serve and heal. My mother invited me to help at this event. My mother is um, in charge of communications and marketing, which helps get the word out about UAMS. She invited me to help out because I obviously needed service hours. And um, while I was, I was there more for setting up the event, since I am not a doctor, I cannot help give medical advice and get people signed up for certain things. And um, while I was waiting for, while we were all waiting for this event to start picking up and everything, and I was about to leave, a man walked up to me with his wife and he started asking me a couple questions. Um, the point of the, how this connects to with what the organization does to educate, which is to teach the elderly about the healthcare options. Um, I also did a little bit of stuffing investitures, which is to help get get more money into the um, hospital, which is all based for the most part on donations given by people throughout Arkansas and anywhere. And uh, also, I did that by helping them teach, search, serve, and heal. I also helped with the um, with that event through helping them heal the patients since it was helping them sign up for Medicare and different things like that. On to my next point. Um, the, there is a communication principle and two communication concepts connected to my service story, and these are important because of how they connect to the class and everyday life. Um, the relevant communication principle I used was the communication process is complex. The definition according to the syllabus and survival guide is there is no such thing as an easy or simple symbolic exchange between two communicators. An example of that from my service that illustrates this principle is <coughs> the hard of hearing man. Uh, my example illustrates the principle because of the amount of trouble I had talking to him due to the fact that he could not hear me. And I have a higher pitched voice when I'm not there. Um, my first communication concept is social context. The definition of social, social context according to communication in the real world, a textbook, is the stated rules or unstated norms that guide communication. An example of that for my service illustrates that concept um, is speaking to that hard of hearing man again. Um, Social norms say I cannot yell at an old person because they cannot hear me. You can't do that. Otherwise, you look a little silly and people are gonna look down upon you. The second communication concept I used was perception checking. The definition according to communication in the real world, our textbook, is a strategy to help us monitor our reactions and perceptions about people and communication. Again. Hard of hearing man is the person I used to illustrate this concept because I kept working and trying to get the message across and what we offered and I eventually just directed him to someone who could better communicate with him because he 
didn't know sign language because as you get older, you lose your hearing. It's just something you do and he didn't have a hearing aid. My father doesn't wear a hearing aid because he doesn't want to feel old. <laughs> Moving on to my next point. Um, based on my service experience, I can use communication concepts and ethical implications to improve my communication and help to improve my communicative, my community. And that is important to y'all because it's, it's something y'all can use as well. Um, this, the communication concept I could use to improve my communication would be empathic listening. The definition according to communication in the real world is um, it occurs when we try to understand or experience what a speaker is thinking or feeling. I chose this concept because of all the people there and how they felt, because I'm sure getting older is not fun. It's just not. And understanding how they feel and wanting to give them that help, um, it just, it's also good when I can use that with my coworkers and the troubles that they have constantly. At Starbucks, they are always complaining about something like milk spilling, which happens more frequently than I'd like to admit. Uh, an ethical implication I could use to improve my community would be restraint. The definition according to the survival guide is refraining from insulting others and participating in negative communication. I chose that implication based on my service because of the many times that I would hear things and the, some of the things that older people would say about different things that were going on. Like, I don't want to have that. That's not for me. I'm not old enough for that. <laughs> and all I'm thinking is, don't say what you want to say. Because if you say it, you're going to get told to leave. And I can use that because again, saying those things for all ages. Um, in my, finally, in my speech, I told y'all about my service at UAMS and what I did there. Um, I also said how it connects to class and how to connect it to everyday life. And in the end, everybody needs a little bit of help. 